All right, so here's the tedious part. Maybe with a better focus length and stand set up in the future, I could limit how much of this there's to do. But I'm going to edit this picture. And the first thing I'm going to do is crop it. Let me get a little better. And so I clicked edit, hit crop, and the, actually the first thing I want to do is rotate. Um, I just want to hold it vertical here. Sorry for all the glare in the pictures. I just need to get away from the window entirely. Uh, I need more darkness. Okay. Going to the back. Let's hold this vertically. So I'll be rotating. This one's two time, three times because it was upside down and sideways. And then I okay the rotation. And the second step, I'm going to crop in the edges here, and I'm going to go just into the border of the picture, so it actually cleans up and there's no kind of bleeding. That actually makes it easier to do. If you go all the way into the edge, you don't have to, don't have to be actually as precise. Check that off. Save it. So let's do one more. I'm not going to talk as much. We'll see how quickly I can do it. All right, so here we go. That's good, one more. Edit, rotate three times, save, edit again, crop. Get all the way inside that border. And check on the heavy edges, and done. All right. So it takes a while, but um, things will be in order, right side up, with no edges. I could tweak the, uh, the twist ratio just a little bit if I wanted, depending on the picture, but ideally those are lined up as well.